In this week's edition of the FT's Personal Tech Column, we're here to talk about drones. In particular, cheap camera drones that cost as little as 60 bucks. And it's coming for you. Think of a personal camera drone, and you probably think of something that costs hundreds of dollars, but I've been testing two that cost just tens. Hubson's X4 H107C and Seema's X5C. These aren't the most sophisticated remote-controlled quadcopters on the market, but they are the cheapest that I could find that also come with a camera for recording video. The video quality on these is not quite good enough to seriously infringe anyone's privacy, but they are good enough fun to fly around to get you in a little trouble. For the price of a dinner out for two, these devices let you film up to 10 minutes of aerial footage. Now, if your flying skills are anything like mine, you'll probably only end up with a few seconds of decent video for each of those takes. But when it works, it brings an amazing new perspective that is just impossible to capture in any other way for the price. They can bring you face to face with towering statues and lift you high through the treetops. That is, as long as you don't get caught in any branches. In a head-to-head -head match between the two drones, there are several differences. The SEMA looks more like you'd expect a drone to look. Its design resembles a smaller version of the more expensive and capable DJI Phantom, which costs around $1,000. The frog-like Hubson is even smaller and lighter, which does improve its battery life, but I found made it much more difficult to control. Both come with similar remote controllers, with one stick for controlling elevation and another for steering. When airborne, the two feel pretty different, and after a few attempts, I still found the Hubson extremely difficult to keep stable. But with practice, and on a calm day, I was able to keep the SEMA in line long enough to get some pretty good footage. Drone enthusiasts recommend getting one of these cheaper devices as a way of practicing your control skills before shelling out for a more expensive and sophisticated device like the Phantom. And while those extra features for a thousand dollar drone like GPS stabilization would certainly be welcome, given the amount of times I've crash landed these guys over the course of testing them, I would say that for my own purposes, and if you have relatively low ambitions for exhibiting your aerial photography, the Sima X5C is phenomenally good value. The videos are not super high resolution or particularly stable, but for $60, it's a phenomenal amount of fun. This is Tim Bradshaw with the Financial Times in San Francisco.